Today on Horseland. Zoe! Pepper is hurt. I can't watch them put you down. Will Zoe abandon the injured horse in our hour of need? You can't leave Pepper there. Zoe! Welcome to a perfect day at Horseland. Yuff! It's a great day! A perfect day! Hey, at Horseland, it's always a perfect day! If you ask me... Well, we're not asking you, Teeny. Besides, even I have to admit, it wouldn't have been perfect if we'd lost Pepper. Oh, that would have been bad! So bad! You're right, Angora. Aren't I always? Uh, no, Angora. Not always. Well, the important thing is that we all pulled together when Zoe and Peppa needed us. Zoe's training's really paid off. Your sister is definitely going to win this competition. Duh, she didn't buy a new riding outfit, so she could come in second. Woo! Way to go! Awesome run! Told you I didn't need a ground person. I like your confidence, but you should always have a buddy here to clear or reset your jumps. Oh, Will, I'm so on top of safety. That's why Pepper and I are so good together. We have each other's backs. That was a perfect 10. If she rides like that in the competition tomorrow, kids will be lining up to train here. Just more competition for me to dust. Giddy up, Pepper. Ah! <coughs> hey, what's your problem? Easy, cousin. Let me handle this. My bad. Sorry. I was just letting off steam. Honestly, I didn't know my fan club was standing so close. Horses aren't for fooling around, Zoe. I saw a horse get hurt and had to be put down because his rider was careless. Put down? It was just a gallop around the ring. I do things like that all day long. You came too close to the fence. Pepper could have been really hurt. She relies on you. Respect that. You and me forever, right, girl? <laughs> what a moment, then. I'd almost forgotten why sometimes we don't like her. Unfortunately, she never lets us forget it for long. Competition before. We better check on Pepper. She may have been seriously hurt. How could this happen to me? We're supposed to be together forever. You're a lucky mare, Pepper. The doc says you're going to be just fine. How about that? You'll be jumping again in no time. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't take a horse whisperer to figure out we're not wanted. Yeah, Pepper. We just want you to get better. Adios, chica. No need to snap, Pepper. They're just trying to be nice. I don't want nice. 
I want Zoe. Pepper, didn't you get any sleep? Just because I'm hurt doesn't mean I'm lazy. Well, the injury hasn't affected her disposition. No reason to mess with perfection. Hey, Pepper. Hola. How are you doing? Hey, girl. Ready for your grooming, Scarlet? How about a pedicure, huh, Calypso? I think a lucky girl's going to get new shoes today. Let's go see the fattier. <laughs> <laughs> I miss Zoe. She'll be coming by soon, I'm sure. You know Chloe and Zoe always like to show up fashionably late. Of course, they do need their beauty sleep. <laughs> the others could use some themselves. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, boy, let's show these wannabes what a shiny coat really looks like. Zoe? Zoe? Zoe! <laughs> I'm sure she's fine. She just isn't used to not showing off. See, I read that when horses neigh to each other, it's about status and rank. Pepper does think she's the best horse at Horseland. She's probably just asserting her role, making sure no one forgets. Zoe. Looks like Zoe took a break today. No wonder I'm in such a good mood. I don't know what she's thinking. Pepper still needs to be groomed. She's probably thinking, woohoo, I don't have to do any work today. She's probably thinking, woohoo, I don't have to be around these losers today. Still no Zoe? Isn't it great? Glad you think so. You'll see to Pepper today. Uh, we're always doing Zoe's chores. It's not fair. Do it for Pepper, not Zoe. Oh, since you put it that way. There's an old cowboy saying. When in doubt, let your horse do the thinking. No hooves, no horse. Clinch is loose. First sign a shoe's about to pull. Have the farrier reset the nail. See, girl? I wasn't joking. You are getting the full pedicure today. Can't wait until Zoe's back. I knew I couldn't be gone for more than an hour without being missed. Zoe, don't ever leave me stranded here without you again. I was almost nice to them. Yuck. Sorry, promise. So where have you been? Shopping, Natch. Ooh, don't tell, show. What'd you get? Well, I didn't get it yet, but here are my choices. Which one do you like? Um. Those are horses. I know what they are, silly. I'm getting a new horse. Isn't that great? <gasps> I'm telling you, this Zoe thing is off the chart weird. I think something's wrong. I mean, what Zoe's doing is even more Zoe than Zoe. She might be mean to everyone else, but she loves Horseland, and she loves her horse. Almost as much as she loves herself. So why is she acting this way? No say. I'm not going to be the one to ask, but I am going to be the first one to cool my feet in the stream. Last one in has to talk to Zoe. <laughs> I think they're on to something. About talking to Zoe, I mean. I think you're right. I don't get it, Pepper. You're usually so spunky and perky. In fact, I'd go so far as to say you're downright spurky. You see? Right there. That's what I'm talking about. I insult you to your face, and you don't even snap at me. Okay, between you and me, I'm getting a little worried. Doc says you should be itching to get out of here and run already. Come on, show me what you're made of. Give me that old pepper attitude I've come to expect. Now I really don't get it. Hmm. <laughs> like. Go away, Teeny. I'm trying to decide on a new horse from this magazine. Uh-oh. Do you think they have one of those magazines for pigs? Don't worry, Teeny. You're not being replaced. Not yet, anyway. Not yet? What do you mean? Too easy. <laughs> <clears throat> How can you turn your back on Pepper like this? 
I'm not the one who tripped the rail and got hurt. You heard what Will said about horses getting put down. That was a different horse, not Pepper. Zoe, you guys have been together for years. Your dressage proves how well you've grown as a team. I know I'm good. You don't have to sell me. Stop it, okay? You know what I'm talking about. You don't create what you and Pepper have overnight. It's not my fault she was injured. I have to move on. Look at this nice Arabian. It's one thing to make a mistake in the arena. Stuff happens. But to put the entire blame on your horse is like totally amateur. I thought you were a better competitor than that. It has nothing to do with competing. I don't understand, Champ. If it has nothing to do with competing, why is she getting a new horse? Humans are complicated creatures, Teeny. Be happy you're a pig. Oh, I am. I am. No magazines for replacing pigs. Is it time for lunch yet? Come on, get a grip. Pepper's probably jumping around already. I knew it. Pepper is going to die. Did I hear Zoe? Zoe? Oh, it's just you, Chili. Pepper, you have to stop this sulking. Show Zoe you're okay before she does something everyone will regret. My mistake. I guess you and Zoe are perfect for each other. You're both quitters. Dr. Martin's concerned that you're not eating, Pepper. He thinks you've given up. But we told him you're just a picky eater. Right, girl? So we brought you the good stuff. <laughs> Sorry, Scarlet. The carrots are for Pepper. I love you too, girl. But you still can't have Pepper's carrots. You're trying to tell me something, aren't you, Scarlet? Let me take a look. Well, you look okay. Hey, look at that scar on your leg. I remember when you got that injury. What's up with Scarlet, Sarah? I think I know what's going on. Well, well, well. I'm not saying I don't normally enjoy Zoe's antics, but this is just shameful. Turning her back on Pepper like this. Zoe, getting a new horse isn't the answer. I think I know what you're going through. I don't recall asking for your thoughts. Come on, girl. You can't bully me away. What's the big deal, Sarah? It's just a horse. Just a horse? And I suppose I... Just a cat! Zoe. You don't really believe that Pepper is just a horse. In case you didn't figure it out yet, it's none of your business what I believe or what I ride. <laughs> That's it. If the humans want to act so, so darn human, well, so be it. But I'm not going to let Pepper off that easily. Time to get back on your feet, Peppa. I'm really good at jumping over things, like someone else in this store. Mind your own business. All right, we'll do it your way. I can't believe you just said that. I'm injured, remember? I know you're injured, but it's your feelings that are really hurt. That doesn't mean you should give up. Now stop licking your wounds and start healing them. <laughs> Rude. You would know, Pep. <laughs> At a girl. What else you got? A short temper, that's what. Good try. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> que bonita, Button. Good girl. <laughs> Zoe! <laughs> I hurt my wrist with this horse. That's the problem with them. They're unpredictable. You can't count on any of them, especially Pepper. Zoe, you don't have to play tough with me. I know what you're going through. Just because we're both rich doesn't mean you know anything about me, okay?
We have two things in common, though. Horse land and our horses. Your point? Guess my point is that you're not alone. Did I ever tell you that before I was even old enough to ride, I knew Scarlet was the horse for me. But then, after we'd been together for only a little while, she was bitten by a rattlesnake. The scar's still there. I thought for sure I'd lose her to fever, and I was so angry, I swore I'd never ride again. The truth is, I was just afraid of losing her. What does that have to do with me? If I'd given up, I would have missed all these years with Scarlet. Being scared about something that might happen is only going to make you lose Pepper sooner. She's still there, Zoe, waiting for you. She needs you to get better. I don't remember asking for your opinion, so save it for someone who cares. Maybe the others were right. Maybe you really are this awful. But I just can't believe that, because I know how much our horses mean to us. All of us. Pepper means everything to me, and now I'm going to lose her. Don't they get it? I can't bear to watch her die. Maybe if we braid Pepper's mane, she'll cheer up. She always loves it when Zoe fusses over her. That's because it's Zoe doing it. Besides, I'm having enough trouble getting Calypso's mane to cooperate. Did you know if you just go tighter to the hairline, the little bump you get will help the braid lie flat? Thanks. I wonder what it'll be like to have another horse staying at Horseland. I think Zoe's so afraid of losing Pepper. That's why she's pretending she doesn't care. I can't believe I'm going to say this, but I think you're right. Chloe agreeing with Sarah? That's a first. And a last, so don't get used to it. Okay, so Zoe's scared. What now? Until she admits it, I don't know what we can do. Zoe admit anything? Unlikely. Zoe admits a lot of things. Yeah, like how pretty she is, how well she <laughs> rides, how... Very funny. But she's not the only one who's going to lose Pepper. We all are. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you had it in you. Like I have a choice. Oh, this is great! You can do it, Pepper! I never doubted you much. Look at that! I knew she wouldn't let us down. Atta girl, Pepper. You're a real ranch dog, Shep. Good boy. Way to go, Pepper. That a girl! Had a feeling you were holding out on me. <laughs> Finally! Now I don't have to keep being nice to the rest of you. Hmm. We hadn't noticed. I can't believe Zoe's here, on a different horse, right in front of Pepper! What? Pepper! Be a sweetie, Bailey. I came back for a reason. Pepper's my horse, Will. I'll take it from here. I do recall hearing something about you having each other's backs. That's right, and don't you forget it. I knew it. Just when you forget why you put up with her, she does something decent. <laughs> <laughs> That's my girl. Yes. I guess Zoe has her good points after all. Well, you can't be all bad if you're at Horseland, right? Right! <laughs> I won't ever let you down again, Pepper no matter what. Guess everything's right with the world again. Watching them, you'd never guess how difficult they are to get along with. But they're back and spookier than ever. Oh, it's so sweet. Luckily, they have each other. Luckily, we all have each other. Oh, please. Well, I guess we all realized something very important from Peppa's injury. I know I did. I did too. Isn't that great? Wait, what did we realize? That everyone will pay lots of attention to you if you're hurt. Really? That can't be it, can it, Chip? That's not a happy ending. No, Tina. I was talking about Zoe realizing she shouldn't give up on Peppa because she was afraid of losing her. Oh, that? Sure, I already knew that. Can't believe they didn't. But, but, but. Don't pay any attention to Angora. She just likes to be difficult. But on me, 
Dippigold looks cute. See what I mean? See you next time. <laughs> <laughs>